Alright, welcome back everybody, this is Gnome Droid here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Adobe Creative Cloud app on Linux to install any of these, basically the entire Adobe suite of applications. They are also really, really new versions, for example, version 2015. This is going to be easy guys, come on, so let's get started. <laughs> and load up the link in the description which will be uh, a link to this developer who created this uh, install script for play on linux to have every single app available with the application manager so this is just a normal uh, play on linux script so what you're gonna have to do so the first thing you want to do is install play on linux so uh, we're gonna type in sudo app get install play on linux um, if you're on any other distro, uh, you can visit the Play on Linux website, uh, and from there you can have lots of instructions. But I think if you're using Arch or Fedora or something like that, you you will be um, advanced enough as a user to know. But anyway, if you have uh, any queries, make sure to leave them in the description. Anyway, so next uh, we'll press Y and Enter on our keyboards to to install. Okay, so while that is downloading, uh, we can now go ahead and download the uh, Play on Linux script. So you want to download the install script. So go ahead and click on that link. Now you'll just be brought to this web page of just uh, raw text. So what you want to do is you want to open up a text editor. And now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to uh, go on the web page, press Control and A, and this will select the entire web page. Right click, copy, and here we can go ahead and paste it into our text document. And what we're creating here is a so we're going to script file, so we're going to have to go to save it as. And because this is a script and not a text file, what we're going to do is we're going to in the name field. I'm gonna call this Creative Cloud. Uh, we'll name it whatever, but I'm gonna call it that. And then make sure you put dot sh at the end of it. And now, when you go onto your desktop, right here, um, I'm gonna save it to my desktop because it will be easier to see here. And then go ahead and click on save. So you can see it appeared here on our desktop. Now you can save it wherever you want in your home folder or anywhere else. Because I'm mainly gonna be showing you. Um, how to install this script to get Creative Cloud on your machine and with this you can install any Adobe application app and I also sh uh, I will show you how to create the uh, shortcuts on the Play on Linux launcher so you have all the desktop shortcuts just like you have your normal apps alright and we're done so welcome back everybody and uh, now all you have to do is uh, well we can go ahead and close off our script file it will just be saved in your folder now we can go ahead and launch up Play on Linux. Now, um, if you can't find it, you can go ahead and open up a terminal with Control Alt T, and uh, from that, you can type in uh, just Play on Linux like this. Press Enter, and it will open it. But you should just find it in your normal app drawer. Right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and in Play on Linux, we're going to go to Tools. And here we're going to find run a local script. I know the theming's a bit glitched out here, but uh, it'll be the second option down. Now we can go ahead and click next. And now on the browse page, we're going to browse to where our script that we just downloaded is. So here it is, Creative Cloud. Go ahead and click on open and press next. Now here we will just go ahead and follow the script. Uh, because this is not an official script in Play on Linux, it's a custom one we just installed. It, this warning will come up, but don't worry, there's, this is completely safe, there's no uh, problems. Go ahead and click I agree, this is actually the script on the inside. And now we're just going to follow this like a normal sort of Windows installer, just like, uh, just clicking next. And Alright, so at this stage we finished downloading, uh, downloads finished, so now Let's click next to install these fonts and agree to the 
in terms of use because um, they're, they're not open source because you know Microsoft and uh, yeah so we'll just no biggie just click I agree uh, now we're going to continue uh, with the install process so as it says here we need you can either install Creative Cloud from Adobe's website or you can let the installer do it for you. I just recommend you download the Creative Cloud installer because it will have the correct version and this is always um that this is always really really important with wine um it's usually only a few versions that work all right so go to next and yeah uh this process is really quick as long as you have a pretty decent internet connection it's finished downloading now and uh now we have to have an adobe account that is important uh, you can go ahead and make one with this button right here. You probably already have one if you have like uh, Photoshop and stuff installed uh, that you already had on Windows. Our installer is now complete. What I'm going to go ahead and do is just finish off the installer with next. Now if it won't close, uh, we can go to play on Linux here and uh, click on this, press configure and go ahead and in wine click on kill process as you can see in your main window now you have your link to the app go ahead and click on run to reopen uh, the application manager okay so upon relaunching guys uh, if you see that the um, blue dots are constantly uh, spinning then just wait a second it's just uh, getting the app working but it's okay just be patient and it will appear uh, here we'll go ahead and accept to the agreement and go ahead and make sure you're on the all tab uh, right at the start up top here and as you can see guys here we are here is everything um, every single Adobe app that you can go ahead and install like so I'm going to click on try for Illustrator and as you can see uh, the download will begin as you can see it's downloaded and now it's extracting the installer download took around like 30 minutes for me but I have really slow internet so uh, it's around a gigabyte I think after it's done extracting the, the extracting phase took like 15 minutes and now it's installing pretty rapidly alright guys uh, just a small side note uh, these install files are held in home folder I press ctrl H play on Linux go to wine prefix then go to your creative clouds, drive C and in drive C um, we can go to users and then your name and in here you can now go to temp folder this is where your the files are being held for this installation Alright, and here we are guys, installation complete, uh, it is finished, and now we can go ahead and click on launch app. Now, you got to keep in mind, uh, because this is all in a virtual machine, because uh, I've already got this on my main system, um, it will cause, uh, th this may not be an accurate render of how well it will run, simply because a virtual machine will, uh, graphics drivers aren't as well done. So instead of having to use application manager to launch it, we're going to be using uh, the creating a shortcut here. Create a shortcut so we don't have to log in each time. You're going to click on Adobe Application Manager and click on Configure. And then from this window, we're going to use this Make a New Shortcut from this virtual drive. So it's finished scanning the virtual drive. And here you have a lot of EXEs. And the one you want to find will be illustrator.exe so um, basically uh, if you want let's say you're installing Adobe Photoshop you'll be looking for photoshop.exe and uh, vice versa so you want to search for whatever the name of whichever Adobe app you just installed you want to install that exe and select that exe here in this list um, yep yeah, and then call this something I'm just gonna name it Adobe Illustrator as you guys can see, uh, when we click, we can then click cancel because that will just scan for another file. Now here, whenever we click on Illustrator.exe and run, it will go straight into Adobe Illustrator. And you will have everything, which is really, really cool. There we are. And this, this is really just absolutely amazing. Uh,
Ja, gut. Ja.